I like St. Catherine because it's a very family-oriented place and everyone here knows each other. The playground. I like that they teach us about God and church. Playground. It's almost like, what, what don't I like about St. Catherine? I'm in love with this. My favorite thing about St. Catherine's is that they have nice people. To learn about a lot of things about God, they have nice teachers. The playground. I've been a uh, part of the school for, wow, almost uh, 18 years, can you imagine? I really like the school and I can call it a home. They learn better when they're comfortable, when they trust, and when they feel that they're able to be themselves. And that's what they can be, they can be themselves here. What I like about this school is the fact that, uh, you know, it's, I like the size, you know, we're a small school where we, it's almost, we're, we're, we're a true community. I think we can all appreciate the fact that we we become friends here. You know, we're we really are true, almost like a family. Everything is done through the the faith of our of our of our church, and that's what keeps us together. And that's the one thing that I like the most about about St. Catherine. I would say. I just love this school deep in my heart, and I don't think I can ever let go. They wanted to put him in ESL classes when he was in LAUSD. Um, I. I know my son, so I know that that wasn't the issue. I had a feeling that it may have been the teaching style or maybe that he was in such a large classroom that he wasn't getting the hands-on attention that he needed. He came in here to St. Catharines in first grade and uh, with the help of Mrs. Lee, he um, started reading like crazy, started loving going to school. All of a sudden, he, it was a total 180, and uh, I, I have St. Catharines to thank for that. Well, there are a lot of other Catholic schools in the area um, that are, have a higher enrollment, and they're a lot bigger. But with that enrollment and the more class, the bigger class sizes, you kind of lose the personal one-on-one -on -one everyday conversations that you get to have with not only your students but the parents as well. The accessibility to be able to speak to the teacher has always been there from day one. If I have an issue, I always get a result the same day that I, have already, that I brought it up, if not the moment that I bring it up. I really do enjoy working with the kids that um, are the strugglers and I had one student in particular that every single year he was passed on and they just kind of, you know, oh, he's a bad one and he's a bad kid and he doesn't do his homework. So every day I would just let him know that I'm, I wasn't gonna leave him alone until he was successful. And he's in high school now and you know, he's very involved and he is, he's successful. So just letting the kids know that just because they're labeled doesn't mean that they need to continue throughout their entire schooling as that person. As soon as we started coming here, it was instant that I felt like at peace and I knew that this is where I needed to be. First of all, I bring my kids here because I want you know my kids to learn about the Catholic faith and about St. Catherine. I think the parents are bringing them here because it is family oriented and um, a lot of the parents are close friends themselves. So as the kids are growing up together, the families become friends. When you're in Catholic school, y'all are on the same page. <laughs> And you all feel like that, okay, you know what? We can talk about God, we can talk about our feelings, we can talk about our craziness at home and our craziness at school and have God in it. And that's number one for me and my husband. My favorite subject is art. Religion? Science. Math. Um, science. Uh, art. Religion and science. Uh, math. Science. There's one thing that I love about the new process of, of learning that they're starting here is that the older children and the younger children are coming together in, in groups and helping each other along the way to learn. It's a really good program because it helps to individualize um, the, the lesson plans that we are doing for the grade level. 
Well, with Antonia, she's in fifth grade, and I'm really glad that we have her here because she's able to really excel. They have individual plans now, which is wonderful because then she can really reach her full potential. In college, I hope to study performing arts. Uh, I want to be a nurse. I'm at the moment looking into corporate law. When I grow up, I want to be an art teacher. I want to be a police officer. A movie director. I want to be an archaeologist. Um, I want to be an artist. I want to be a cowgirl. I want to be a fighter fighter and a basketball player. A singer. Mm, a dress designer. I want to be a gravity scientist. A doctor. I want to be a doctor. My name is Eric and I want to be a police. A doctor. Soccer. And I want to do construction and football and that's it. A performer. Well, any kind. You know, like the one that just like plays and stuff? Yeah, that kind of one. I don't know yet. Mm. Pancakes. Mm. Pizza. 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 My favorite food is cafeteria. Macaroni and cheese. White rice. Spaghetti. Uh, pizza. My favorite food is vegetables. My favorite food is pasta. Pupusas. Egg. Pizza. Pasta. Does ice cream count? 